Uh, hello guys. Uh, so here I'll be talking about a very very important question of personal interview, which is normally the first question. Usually the first question, not necessarily always the first question. Which is tell me something about yourself. Now, I'll be talking on uh, three four things here. Uh, number one, obviously the standard answer which you are supposed to give, and very importantly, the way the answer has changed over the last ten or years. Now the answer which used to be correct around 10 years back cannot be given today. I right? think safe chain. So uh, if you look at my other videos also, you know I give a logical explanation of why the answer is to be given in this manner. You know all, all my videos, if you see, I give a logical explanation. Now right? so tell me something about yourself. So point number one, I'm giving you the logic here. Let's say. Then number two. Answer for experienced people will be a little different, right? And as the answer for the freshers will be a little different. I'll be discussing that here. And uh, very importantly, what happens when the first question is not this? Now this is where a lot of people falter. You know, so this is what the interviewer does. He asks you, okay, you have come in. Uh, tell me about, uh, tell me your name. So you tell your name. So mind you, the first question is not tell me about yourself. The first question is your name. Achha, how did you come here? You tell something. Oh, you have done your graduation from this college, right? And he asks you a couple of questions on your graduation. And then the question is that tell me more about yourself. Achha, trust me, 90% of the times I've got wrong answer for these kind of questions, right? Now, I personally interviewed might be more than 2,000 students and even for jobs, I've interviewed n number of people. I'm interviewed for different MBA colleges also. Yeah, mind you, I, I can't name those colleges here. And I've seen people giving wrong answer for this kind of thing, right? As soon as I ask four, five questions and then the question is, yeah, tell me more about yourself. The answer is still the same. Uh, sir, is, uh, uh, my name is this and I've done my graduation from this. Come on, guys, I've asked you this question already. You've already answered this. And as soon as you answer like this, it means it is a rato fight. You are doing and you are answer repeat kar rahe ho. Very, very wrong way of doing things. Fair enough. So, uh, yes, this video is definitely going to be different than what others have given. I did see a lot of other videos and I found the answers which were correct 10 years back. is the same answers which are being produced now. Wrong. So, let's see. How do we go about it? Tell me something about yourself, right? First thing, name and education qualification. Perfect. No issues with that. Everyone will say you this. Mention it. No issues. Around three to four sentences. Not more than that, please. So I'm going to be very specific on how much do you talk on these things, right? Three to four sentences. Latest qualification first. That's it. Everyone will say you to do the same thing. Let's say this is what is important, guys. Scholarship to be mentioned. Right? This is what a lot of people don't do. See, when you're talking of your qualification, what is that extra which you have done? That is what is required. Have you got any scholarship or first position on any merit? Something like that is required and very, very important if you got this. So any of you have got this during your educational qualification being mentioned when you are doing that, make sure you mention about your scholarships also. And still a small thing. Others will also tell you this. No worries. Yeah, now this is important here, guys. I really need to discuss with you this now family background. Right. Trust me, in today's world, when you are going for any kind of interview, whether it is MBA entrance interview, whether it is job interview, any kind of interview, trust me, this is irrelevant. This is irrelevant. Why? Because now this is important. Right. That's what I want to discuss here. Why? Because if you look at 15 years back or let's say 30 years back, even 10 years back, the way hiring used to happen, yes, family background used to be important because most of the businesses in India, most of the businesses in India were family owned. So family owned business, recruitment process, they will put more focus on family background, family all those things used to be important around 15, 20 years back. They aren't now. Most of the corporates, they are professionals, the HR are separate people. They are more interested in your job, the kind of work you will do. Your family background becomes least important. 
right? This I'm talking of what is happening in last three, four years and might be true for another five, ten years, right? So trust me, don't mention more than two sentences here. That's it. Little, very little, very little. Yes, my father is doing this, mother is doing this, a couple of whatever siblings are. That's it. Itna bol ke chhod do. Please don't tell all your stories about your family. Nobody wants to hire you for your family. I very specifically written here. They don't hire you for your family background. They are not going to hire you because your father has done something great. No. They'll hire you what you have done in your life, which is going to be my next point. But it's like this, you know, Sachin Tendulkar's son comes and says, I don't know whether I should take his name or not, but let's say, if I've already taken it, let it be. And he says that, I'm his son. Please take me for, uh, you know, Indian cricket team. Is it, is it fair? Will people do that? Will teams do that? They will hire you for your own performance, your own achievements. I hope you understand this. Right? If you look at 20 years back, they used to hire people. Why? Because achha, parents' background is very good, so take it. If you are good, then you will be good. Gone are the days, guys. Right? So this is, please, I have seen a lot of places wherein it is told that yes, give a proper family background. All nonsense. Skip it. Okay. Next. Again, now this is what people miss out. Now they take at least five to six sentences only on family background about telling about themselves, their place. Are you, come on, yeah. I have come from Haryana. I have come from Madhya Pradesh. What does it mean? All nonsense. They are not going to hire you for all those things. So if, if you keep seeing my video, you will see a lot of things I will say that others might say do it. I am going to say don't do it. Right? Because they are not going to hire you for this. Right, guys, please understand, I've got enough experience of interviewing people. You know, a lot of my own friends, they've been interviewing people and they say, hey, what's, what, what nonsense is happening? How do these guys are learning now? This is how they give the first answer. No, most important thing, achievements. That's it. That's it. First, let's say around 10 seconds, your name, educational qualification, and a little about your family background and everything on achievements. That's it. They want to hire you for this. And obviously, when you talk of your achievements, you don't come and say, Sir, I have achieved this, this, this. No, don't use the word achievement. A subtle way of mentioning it. So let's see how. All your academic achievements. So, uh, you know, uh, I got first prize in standard 12 and during graduation also, I was the second ranker of my class. I did very good in accounts and got scholarship for this. I hope you understand. I'm mentioning academic achievements separately. Right? So make sure whatever. See, trust me, I've seen so many people. There are some or the achievements for sure. Everyone does something or the else for sure. You know, if not academic, sports mein kuch hota hai, debate competition mein kuch hota hai, NGO mein kuch kaam kiya rata, something has to be there, right? Now, since I'm mentioning so much, let me also tell you, see, your interview is more of preparation rather than that D-Day interview. What we are doing here is all preparation. You have to prepare these answers well in advance. A lot of people come in and say, Sir, kuch achievement nahi hai. Are, come on, yaar. 24, 25 years of your life and you are saying there is no achievement? Nuts? No, that won't do. Look into your life. Trust me. See, we have, obviously, we have a separate way of doing things. We have a 30 major form wherein we ask students to fill their form. I have got students giving so small things, you know, like organizing a fashion show in their housing society. It's a very small thing. They, were ne they never thought that something was meant to be done. They just organized it. And we made it look big. I, I have to say that yes, we made it look big. But yeah, that's a kind of achievement. You did something different. That's what people want to see. Yeah, during college fest, someone handled full finance of the festival. Something. Got sponsorship for some college festival where nobody else could get sponsorship. Something different. Right? So all this is what we have to mention here. Some achievement. Something different which has been done. Your academic achievements. Then your any competitions you have won. Now obviously latest first. So you know uh, last couple of years or three years you have won something very good. But if you don't have something mention your school level also. Because kuch to bolna padega. Something is better than nothing. Preferably if you have done won something in last three four years. Nothing like it. Please mention this. Yeah, I was a part of this this competition wherein I got second prize. Right? This is very important. 
ठीक है दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू हायर यू फॉर योर फैमिली बैकग्राउंड दे विल हायर यू फॉर व्हाट यू हैव डन इन योर पास्ट आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस यस पार्टिसिपेशन इन एनी काइंड ऑफ विनिंग इन को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज आई हैव वेरी स्पेसिफिकली रिटन दिस एनी काइंड ऑफ विनिंग इट कुड बी कबड्डी इट कुड बी खो खो एंड आल्सो अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई दिस यू नो एज आई ऑलवेज टेल द रीजन बी नॉर्मल पढ़ना तो है इफ यू आर ए ग्रेजुएट यू डन ग्रेजुएशन इन एनी स्ट्रीम इट्स योर जॉब टू डू right you were supposed to do that what extra did you do what extra did you do which shows that this guy is capable of doing the normal thing plus something extra also and win in that also right so it it helps i hope you understand next yeah now work experience obviously if uh, people with work work experience of 3 years 4 years or 5 years yes they are supposed to mention this right immediately after their normal achievement they should talk about their work experience and very important again please i'm not concerned about your company now again since i personally interviewed a lot of people 90% of the people start talking about their company my company is into this my company is into that this is these are the kind of projects we get this is how we implement the project nonsense we don't want to hear about your projects we don't want to hear about what your company is company do matlab that is something which is available on internet we can find that out we want to hear what you have done in your project what you contribute to the company please understand just not the normal work your achievement during the work i focusing so much on the word achievement what did you do extra so that the company did well something trust me a lot of people think ki sir kya kuch extra nahi kiya kya normally to kaam rehta tha look into it you might have done something extra and if you have not start doing it now because that will be helpful for your next interview i hope you understand this right something different you know uh, normal work days are over but then i was the one who organized an event in my in my company you know some hr event some cultural event in the company you know there was time when a project was not being completed on time but i had to sit late night to make sure that the work come work come work is completed on time because of which i got appreciation from my management something like that now what is important is if you don't have it If you don't have something like that, find out. कुछ तो होगा छोटा मोटा. Otherwise, do something like this. Trust me. Put in that extra effort in the company so that for next interview you can speak it out. Hope this is clear. Your achievement, your work. Right. Next. Yep. Uh, now see. Now it it all goes in a flow, right? Obviously, when I am saying, I am including the points, right? It all goes in flow. most of the times if you see it's all your achievements your uh, uh, special efforts are coming up right it looks very cozy it looks very sugary but in reality it doesn't come out to be so sugary right hobbies yep now once again you know i like playing badminton i like playing cricket and all this which is all nonsense come on yeah everyone does that how do you pursue it that is important right that's what i've written here how do you pursue those hobbies sir i like playing cricket and during my uh, holiday time or during sundays and saturdays we go out in the market we go go out on a field and then play cricket i like i like reading uh, books trust me when you say something like this make sure you have actually read books right um now since this is this interview obviously please don't don't lie during an interview you know they'll catch hold of you trust me they'll catch you they will catch you there's no way all interviewers are supposed to be smart and even if they are not you better assume they are smart because if in reality they are you are doomed right so you don't assume ki nahi nahi main kuch to bol dunga nikal jaunga nahi first be honest in saying all whatever you want to say be jo hai wahi bolna hai right and then uh, secondly say it politely coming back to this topic yes how do you pursue your hobbies are is important again why why this is important because just mentioning this i like doing this doesn't suffice when you say that you take time out to pursue your hobby you know you take time out remember that shows that yes you are interested in that which means see this is what companies want na ki yes ye bachcha normal kaam to karega which means agar ye apne hobbies ke liye time nikal raha hai That means ये हम भी कुछ एक्स्ट्रा काम देखे तो उसके लिए टाइम निकालेगा 
See, please understand the word why. Why does interview want to listen to all these things? Is because in today's world we want multitasking people. You know, there used to be time again those 15, 20 years back, wherein you know you do one thing, you were given one task, you are supposed to be good at that, just do that only. That's it. Times have changed. They need multitasking people. Now, how do you prove your multitasking by saying the word, sir? I am a multitasking guy. Huh? During an interview, seriously, and they will believe you. No, by giving examples without using the word multitasking, and that's what we are doing here. By so th this is one multitasking is just one word I am using here. Right? That I was good in co academics, decent if not great, decent in curriculum. I participated in so many activities, won so many competitions, and I get time out for my hobbies also. Right? Which means if you don't do it already, start doing it. Jut mat bolna wahan pe jaake guys please and so all those people who are now preparing for interview please understand it just not preparing these answers no start doing it also that's how you'll get better marks during interview they'll understand it right that ye banda uske liye bhi time nikal raha hai right yeah any achievements or any certificates on social work uh, yeah, that it's a hit word now social work or ngo works or and uh, something for the society yeah so uh, if you don't do it already please start doing it because it adds up to your profile look selfish this is how world works and you're obviously your hobbies so that's how this is yeah now once again guys again this is a lot of people do that mistake during this question of tell me something about yourself please don't mention your strengths they'll automatically come out Please don't don't start talking. You're saying now I'm making it's a, I'm making a separate video on strengths and weaknesses, and that's a different thing. You can watch that. But during this question, please don't give this answer. So my strengths are especially the words. Sir, my strengths are. Come on, yeah. Don't use the word strengths there. I'm good at something like that is better. But still, for this question, don't use this. Don't give this answer. I said you won't get time to give answer to all whatever points I mentioned. That is why I focus more on achievements. Whatever the achievements you can push, please push. That will show your uh, uh, ability to work harder or uh, some competitiveness, basically. Right? This separate video for this, and this is not to be mentioned during. Tell me something about yourself. Right? You won't have time for that, and you shouldn't also. That's it. I hope it. Uh, uh, helps all the students and all the people who want to go for any kind of interview. Okay, I'll be preparing separate videos for uh, other questions also. That's it. Thank you.